Well, the U.S. heads into day three of a partial government closure this morning with no sign of a deal to end it. According to a CBS News poll out this morning, 72% of Americans think the dispute over Obamacare should not have led to the shutdown. The poll finds 44% blame congressional Republicans for the impasse, 35% blame President Obama and other Democrats. The president met with top congressional leaders yesterday. Bill Plant is at the White House. Bill, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. Nora, it was the first meeting between the president and the congressional leadership since the government shutdown, but it wasn't very productive. Afterward, House Speaker John Boehner told reporters that the session was nice and polite, but neither side changed its position. The meeting with the president lasted just over an hour. Afterward, lawmakers blamed one another for the continuing impasse. My friend John Boehner, I repeat, cannot take yes for an answer. The American people expect their leaders to, to come together and to try to find ways to resolve their differences. Uh, the president uh, reiterated uh, one more time tonight that uh, he will not negotiate. Which took place before the meeting, the president accused Boehner of giving in to a faction of the Republican Party which is obsessed with his health care initiative. Earlier in the day, the president met with Wall Street executives who warned of serious fiscal consequences if Congress does not act. Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blinkfein said that the combination of a government shutdown with any delay in raising the nation's borrowing limit could harm the still fragile economic recovery. If money doesn't flow in, then money doesn't flow out. So we really haven't seen this before, and I'm not anxious to uh, be a part of the process that witnesses it. And on Capitol Hill, the president's director of national intelligence, James Clapper, testified to a Senate committee that the effects of the shutdown could be felt well beyond the economy since more than 5,000 FBI employees face furloughs. As each day goes by, the impact and the jeopardy to the safety and security of this country will increase. Despite all of these obvious concerns, there does not appear to be any movement. The White House position is that it's up to Republicans to figure out their own internal disagreements without help from the president. They're very comfortable here refusing to negotiate, both on health care and on the upcoming fight to raise the nation's borrowing level. Nora, Anthony. Bill Plant at the White House. Thank